Ugh. That is so gross. Hello everyone, my name is Sandra and thank you so much for tuning in. All right y'all, so I have a confession to make. I already filmed this video. When I went to go watch it back, I had nothing but like red lipstick all in my teeth. It was all I could see and I was just like, um, do I wanna edit the video and then have everyone just focus on all the lipstick in my teeth or just re-record it so that I don't have lipstick in my teeth? And as you can see, I chose the latter. I'm gonna be going through these boxes, except there is one new box that I didn't unbox when I filmed it the first time because it actually came in the mail after I filmed. I get to open up another box. So instead of three, we're gonna be opening up four different glossy boxes. I've been wanting to have a glossy box subscription since I heard about it, but unfortunately they do not do their subscription boxes in the US anymore. I literally went on their website and I purchased four old boxes for $7. I think one of them is from like 2020 from the Rona era. I think the latest one that I have is from 2022. Hopefully these products in here are not expired. Let's go ahead and get all in these boxes. I am wearing that white eyeliner that I got from the Ice Cream Beauty Box along with one of those Ofra Lip Minis. I did put some, some butter gloss over it, so. And I'm wearing that Fenty blush. And as you can see, it is blushing. Look at all this, all these boxes, this is a lot. Ooh, okay, so this one is different. The other boxes are the classic pink glossy box, but this one is black. That's what I really like about these. Like they're super freaking girly and their attention to detail, their presentation is so nice. Like, ooh, this is raised. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> I really hope that they reinstate their subscriptions for, um, oh, it looks like someone untied mine. Usually it comes all really pretty, like tied up. Maybe it slipped off during shipping. I'm gonna just say it slipped off during shipping. It comes all tied up and cute. I retied the other one, so you'll get to see how it's supposed to look. It comes with this little thing that tells us what's inside. This is the box. This is what it's looking like. This first thing is from Cobb Cosmetics and it is a cream lipstick in the color Sweetheart. This is the little box, it's cute. Hopefully it's a color I'll actually wear. That packaging is so nice and it feels good. Like I love that texture. It's like that matte texture that's still kind of slick, but it's matte. Let's see what color. Oh, okay. Look at that color, that's pretty. Let's see how this goes on. That's pretty. I don't know how this pink is gonna look on me. I might have to get the right eye, eyeliner, the right lip liner to make this work. It, it's cute, I like that, that's pretty. It's very pink and you know I love me some pink. The next thing in here is by NCLA Los Angeles and it looks like it's just back to black. It's just the um, nail polish. Okay, I'm not gonna open this because as y'all know, I got a homegirl that does nails and if I want some black nail polish, she could just use this on me then. I don't know what I'm gonna want that. I don't know what I'm gonna want black nail polish, but who knows? One day, maybe I'll want some black nail polish. This next thing looks a little dirty. Okay, I'm not gonna have use for this. Vita Liberata Advanced Organics Self Tanning Gradual Lotion. I'm not gonna use this. I'm black, I don't self tan. I mean, there might be some black people out there. I'm not I'm not judging, okay? If you a black person and you out there using self tanner, I'm not judging you, it's just not me. And I don't really know anyone that uses tanning oil. Let's see, Muru, 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 Muru. That's literally what it says. It says Muru, Muru. Muru, Muru Restoring Shampoo. Little itty bitty thing. Oh, it's so itty bitty and cute. Look how itty bitty and cute that is. It actually smells really good. I'm not even gonna hold you. This will be a one-time use, and I'm guessing this is conditioner. Bye. Moo-roo-roo-roo-roo-moo. moo roo And yep, yeah, conditioner. Not that much conditioner, but it's conditioner. Let's see if it smells just as good as the shampoo. Yeah, that smells good. This will be a little one-time use. I mean, this really isn't enough to coat all my strands. I'll just put this on the roughest part of my hair and see what it does. Verso Nourishing Cream with Niacinamide by Three, the company Three. Let me see. Ooh, it's got a nice little safety seal. We love a safety seal. It's very oily. That might be because it's old. Let's see. I wonder, is this just like a hand cream? 
It doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't smell good either. Like, I don't know what to think about this. Nourishing cream, does it say where you're supposed to put it? Maybe this goes on your face. It doesn't really say what it's for. I don't know what this is for. Maybe it'll give us more information on the little card in there. Last, but certainly, eh, at least, <laughs> we have some eye masks. This is the Radial Dragon's Blood Eye Mask, Hydrate and Tone. So we got little, little things for underneath the eyes. I don't know why all this stuff in this box are just like dirty. So we got some little eye masks. I'm gonna definitely get some use out of these. All right, let's get into these prices and see how, how badly we're gonna gag. If we're gonna gag, we might not. Muru Muru Restoring Shampoo and Conditioner. This little deluxe mini set is worth $4.70. And this is 30 milliliters each. For the full size, which is 300 milliliters, you looking at $47. And that's probably each. I don't know. It might be each. It might be like as a set. I don't know. It doesn't say, but $47. <laughs> Next. We have the NCLA Beauty Nail Lacquer Back to Black. This one is $16. Next, we have the Verso Skin Care, the Deluxe Mini, bruh. 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 They are saying that this deluxe size, this little itty bitty thing, is worth $27. And the full size, which is 50 milliliters, is worth $90. That is highway robbery. Somebody lying, okay, somebody lying. This says, after cleansing and drying, gently massage cream into the face and neck. Okay, so this is just a face cream. $27 for this little itty bitty thing? No, no, you can't have my money. Next, we have the Cobcast. I keep wanting to say cosmetics, <laughs> like I'm from freaking Boston. Cobb Cosmetics, this is full size. This sweetheart lipstick is gonna run you $18. It's nice, it, it went on my hand pretty well. Second to last is this Vita Liberata Deluxe Mini Fabulous Self Tanning Gradual Lotion. Now this 50 milliliters is worth $5 and the full size, which is 200 milliliters, is worth $20. The extra treat is is this Rodile, Ro, Rodile? I think that's how you say it, Rodile? Rodile Dragon's Blood Eye Mask. This one is $6. Dang, you paying $6 for just one? This definitely paid for itself. I'm not gonna be using that self tanner, but other than that, everything else in there is pretty good and pretty usable. These come in the standard glossy box. It's cute, it's girly. This is how it's supposed to come. Tied up really pretty, nice and snug. This one's from 2022, January. First thing is the Jula Love Your Bare Face Hydrating Bamboo Water Cleansing Cloth. Hold up, this sunlight is doing me so dirty. This is the, this, these are makeup wipes. I definitely need them. It comes with 30 towelettes. I will be using that today to get some of this makeup off my face. Next is the Daydreamer, your dream cleanser come true. Now I don't dream about cleanser, maybe you do, but I don't dream about cleanser. It's not full. I can definitely see areas where there's just nothing in this thing. You can probably see it in the camera right there. The little light spot, that is pure empty container. This is just like a cleanser. It's 20 milliliters. Does it smell good? Oh shoot, no, 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 no. No, it's coming out. It's very oily, that could be because it's old. It's just a little cleanser. I don't know why I'm rubbing it in like it's lotion. It smells like the type of cleansers and stuff that you would get from like a hotel. It's not bad, but it's not good either. Next, we have a little face roller. Okay, a little black face roller. I don't have one of these, so that'll be nice to just use on my face. I'm a little spa day, put my little serums on, just rub my face. It's supposed to de-puff and de-stress your skin, whatever that means. Next are these Invisibobbles. These aren't the actual hair tie things. This is something for making like a bun. It looks so funny. Look at these, these look like little gauge earrings. I won't be using these on my hair. Next is something that's very unsettling. Why is that off centered? I don't like that. <laughs> I need it to be in the center. And it's high maintenance peeling face mask. Gamash. And it's made with cannabis sativa seed oil. I'm gonna have to wait to see if I can use it cause I am breastfeeding. I gotta be very careful what I put on my skin and I gotta be very careful what I put into my body because it could inadvertently get to the baby. We're gonna hold off on using that at least until I'm done breastfeeding. Hopefully it's still some good by then. Next we have 
have the Philip Kingsley Bond Builder Split End Remedy. This is just like a little hair mask. I hear it in there, okay? It's not filled up to here. There's some product in there, but is it enough to coat all my split ends? No. The last thing that is in this box is a moisturizing foot mask. I've never used one of these foot masks before, but I'll definitely try it, cause I'm not gonna lie. Since I haven't been able to go and get my pedicures as regularly as I would like to, they look a little crusty and dusty. I will give these a shot and try them out. They say you're supposed to leave it on for about 15 minutes and it's scented with lavender. That's everything that is in this box. Moving on to the third one. <laughs> so much stuff. And I like only paid 30 some dollars for all of these things plus shipping. Oh, we didn't look at the prices. I'm sorry, I completely spaced. Let's go back, let's go back. The Day Dreamer Cleanser is 20 milliliters and it's worth $4. The full size is 120 milliliters and that is worth $16, which isn't, isn't so outrageous, okay? It's not the most egregious. The most egregious was that that damn locked tang, locked the tang. Next, we have the Jula makeup remover wipes. Now, for this, you're looking at ten dollars, which is a lot, but it's it's not that bad. Like you're not really breaking the bank. You're just tapping it a little bit, but you're not breaking the bank. Next is an item that I don't have in here. It says the Codex Beauty Deluxe Mini Brightening Serum. Brightening Serum. I don't have that in my box. I think that's what this is supposed to replace. The next item is this Philip Kingsley Bond Builder. The Deluxe Mini, which is 20 milliliters, is worth $14. And the full size, which is 50 milliliters, is worth $35. Bruh, no. No, not enough product. I'm gonna need a much bigger size for me to be spending $35. No, thank you, I'm good. Next, we have the Eye Roller or Face Roller by After Spa, that's the brand. This one is $18. Oh, this isn't even on here either. And last and definitely least are these little Invisibobble Ice Ice Lady. It's called Bun Star Ice. Ice Lady, and this is $7 for a pack of two. That is everything that is in the second box. Now let's get into the third box. The first thing that I'm pulling out of here is by Cobb Cas... I did it again. Cobb Cosmetics. It's just like a little lip oil. It goes on super, super smooth. Like, I don't know what that is. Like, it's just so fun. I don't know why that is so much fun to me. It goes on really smooth, if I remember correctly. Dang Blast is sunlight. It wasn't like this when I was filming earlier. It was perfect sunlight, but dang blast that I had the stuff in my teeth. It's like glossy, it's pretty. I'm gonna have to try this on my actual lips to see if I really, really do like it. Next is the Glow Recipe Blueberry Bounce Gentle Cleanser. Super, super cute and adorable. Mm. Ew. Let's see if it takes off this lip product. It's getting it off. It's not getting it all the way off. It is doing something. I'm not gonna lie, my favorite makeup remover cleanser has to be that dang blasted balm from e.l.f. That makeup removing cleansing balm from e.l.f. is literally amazing. It take off everything. It take off the mascara. It take off the eyeliner. It take off every goddamn thing. It got most of it off. If you're double cleansing, then you're gonna get everything off. So I mean, it does its job, so I'm not mad at it. Next, we have some more Invisibobble. I will not be using these because these things will get wrapped up in my hair and pull it out. I like my hairs on my head, so I will not be using these, but they are pretty. They're gold. Next, we have the Soothing Deep Conditioner Keratin Protein Hair Mask. This is what this one's looking like. This is probably going to coat 75% of my hair, and I'm going to just have to stretch to get that other 25%. Hopefully it does something. We'll see. I mean, among all these different masks, my hair should be luxurious. And now this little packet is 50 milliliters and it's supposed to soften and prevent breakage in weak damaged hair. Now my hair isn't really that weak or damaged, but it's good to little give it a little, you know, a little bump up, a little extra energy towards it to keep it good. Next we have the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream, Anti-Wrinkle Day Cream. I think this is the exact same thing as that first one we got from the Allure box. I think this is the same thing. It might not be. It's just an even smaller version of that. Let's see if it smells like old lady cream. It probably does. 
Yep, this was exactly like it. I'm not gonna lie, I've been using my old lady cream. I've been using it. You get 0.5 fluid ounces, which is half of what you get in that little container that we got from the Allure box. We're definitely gonna use this because I know this is some expensive cream. Last but not least, we have some Cetaphil Sheer Hydration Replenishing Body Lotion. This has to be full size. Now, I like Cetaphil. I've used their cleansers and I think they have a baby body wash and I use that on Bella as well. It's either Cetaphil or CeraVe, I don't know. Those brands look very similar to me. Just some lotions. It smells good, it has a nice clean scent to it. It's a little sticky, I'm not gonna lie. It's a little sticky, it doesn't really go on the skin that well. Y'all, this was my favorite box when I opened it the first time. That was definitely my favorite box because it had a bunch of stuff in there that I would actually use. Now let's go over the prices so we can gag collectively. The Cobb Cosmetic Full Size Juicy Malone Lip Oil is $20. I don't know if I will pay $20 for no lip oil, I'm sorry. You might not give me for $20, I don't know. Unless this is some magic snake oil lip oil that's... Unless this is some like magic snake oil lip oil that's just gonna miraculously fix my crusty dusty lips, you not give me for $20. This Glow Recipe Deluxe Mini Blueberry Bounce Gentle Cleanser is 30 milliliters and it's worth $10. The full size is 160 milliliters and it's worth $34. Next is the Keratin Protein Hair Mask. This little packet is 50 milliliters and it's worth $2.99. The full size is 355 milliliters and it is worth $4.79. Bruh, they could have put the full size in here. So we could really try it out. It is being stingy with this one. Next is this Elemis Deluxe Mini. This is 30 milliliters. This itty bitty little thing is worth $45. $45 for this itty bitty little cream. And the full size, which is only 20 milliliters more, they want $128 for the full size. That is highway robbery. I don't think this is the same product that I have because the other one was worth $93 for an ounce. Next, we have the Cetaphil, which is full size. Sheer Hydration Replenishing Body Lotion is $9.90 and we got the full size. You could give me for $9.99 for a full size body lotion. I mean, I'm not still sticky. So maybe it's just sticky in the beginning. It's not sticky now, which is good. And these little Invisibobbles, Time to Shine, You're Golden, those are $8. So you're looking at eight dollars for these little itty bitty things it wouldn't be me that is everything that was in my favorite box now moving on to the final box this is what this one is looking like when you open it this is my second favorite box because it came with a palette now this is super freaking pretty hey you can see yourself this is what it looks like this is the la splash cosmetics eyeshadow palette i love that now when i tried these on earlier they went on so freaking smooth i'm gonna do some swatches for you guys so you can see all of these colors show up that's what those colors are looking like they're barely showing up on camera but in person, they look really good. You gonna have to take my word for it. In person, they look really, really freaking pretty. Next, we have a cute little brush. And this is by Spectrum. It's the B07. And it's just a little blender brush. I love that these match. Like it's a whole theme, black and gold. It's really soft. I like it. It's always nice to get another brush because I have like three brushes. And they're all dirty. Next is du Dolce, Duca, du Dolce, du Dolce. I don't know how to say that. This is just a black eyeliner. If I remember correctly, it went on super freaking smooth. That is so smooth and pretty. The next thing in here is the Mighty Patch by Hero Cosmetics. And this is for pimples. When you have a pimple, you just put this on there and it's supposed to help dissolve the pimple and get rid of it quicker. Clean the blemish and apply the Mighty Patch. Remove after it turns white. Minimum six hours. Oh shoot, you gotta leave this on there for six hours? That's a long time. That is a long time when popping it take two seconds. This comes with six patches. Next time I have a breakout, I will definitely give those a try and let you know how they work. Next are the Wander Beauty Baggage Claim Gold 
eye masks. It's just some little eye masks that you can wear. I'll enjoy these. The last thing that was in this box was the Rescue Bomb. And I guess this is supposed to go hand in hand with this because it's the same brand. The Rescue Bomb Post Blemish Recovery Cream. After you take off this little pimple patch, you put this on there to help it heal. That was everything in that box. This eyeshadow palette by Splash Cosmetics. You're looking at $32. Now it's cute. So you might give me for $32, but I got you for seven. Next we have the Spectrum B07 brush. This one you're looking at $8.99 for a single brush. This is nice. I'm glad to get it in the box. Next, we have the Do Doce, Duce, I don't know how to say that. Ultra Precision Eyeliner, and this is waterproof. They say, and this one is $22. Next, we have these Hero Mighty Patch Invisible and Rescue Bomb. This is for the Deluxe Mini, the set is worth $4. For the full size of the Mighty Patches, which comes with 39 patches, you're looking at $17.99. And then for the Rescue Bomb, the full size is $15 milliliters, you're looking at $12.99. If these remove the pimple, like I probably won't need the balm, but if these remove the pimples and keeps me from smashing into my face to get the pimples out, then you could definitely get me for $17.99. Last, we have the Wander Beauty Baggage Claim Golden Eye Masks. One pair is worth $4.16, and the full size, which comes with six pairs, is worth $25. You're not getting me for that price. You're just not. <laughs> Maybe I'm just cheap. It could be me. That is everything that was in this box. That was a lot of stuff. I'm not even gonna lie. For 30 some dollars, I made out like a bandit. Which box was your favorite? And would you consider ordering some old boxes for $7? Honestly, I'm probably gonna order some more of these old boxes just to see what I get. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe. I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces.